Hi Sagittarius. So I have about five messages that are coming in for you guys. First of all, I see some of you taking a trip physically. I do see the eastern direction from where you are currently living. Okay, so um, I'm seeing like you're going somewhere where there is, they, they say like bogs or swamps or an area that has like, you know, higher levels of humidity. Uh, higher levels of um, it, it's not a densely populated area I feel like there's more natural scenery um, the weather to me feels a little bit muggy it feels a little bit humid and I also feel like there's a lot of um, they say like strange plants so I'm, I'm feeling like you know um, I, I feel like more tropical flowers more tropical plants orchids do come to mind and uh, areas where there's a lot of uh, vines where there's a lot of trees and just a, a very swampy humid and even tropi tropical uh, it has a tropical feel to it for those of you who are taking the trip you know the latter part of this month i feel that um I don't sense like, you know, travel delays and things that um, like that. But I do feel um, for those of you not taking the trip towards, um, you know, the end of this month, I'm sensing it can be now until the next three months. OK, and January does come very, very uh, strongly to mind as well. Um, they say to really hold on to your finances. So that means, you know, tucking your money away, keeping your money, if you are keeping it on you, on your person, make sure that, you know, it's tucked away, make sure it's not visible and just make sure you guard it well. Um, I feel like a lot of you are coming into the house or you're outside shopping and buying things and you're like constantly, you know, uh, carrying multiple bags, carrying multiple things and then things get misplaced things get lost very very easily so just be careful you know you're not like wasting your time trying to find things or misplacing things leaving them at the stores because your hands are constantly you know filled with bags filled with personal belongings okay so just be careful about that personal belongings money uh, wallets purses um, just make sure that you know get a fanny pack if you need to you know keep everything consolidated keep everything on your person in one neat place so that you don't misplace things okay so you might be a little bit more forgetful the next two weeks and i just want you to you know cover your bases um i'm feeling gifts of financial resources coming to you to another person and uh, i feel like this is somebody that you care about you want them to be okay they're not soliciting you for money at all but I feel like it's a kind gesture. It could be the holiday season too. So there's like a lot of gift giving. There's a lot of exchange, but I see more of it coming from your end towards other people. And I feel like you want the other person to have a good time. You want the other person to have the means to do whatever it is that they want to do. So I do see quite a generous um, offer of, you know, financial resources, assistance and things like that coming from you to another person. And especially if you are if you have children or if you have a lot of children in your miss nieces nephews um you know godchildren even i i feel like there's a lot of like a, a generosity bestowed upon them from you um i'm feeling a lot of uh, interactions with foreigners for the next two weeks okay so people that are different from you uh people who are culturally geographically even distant from you so i see like the need to coordinate the need to plan things out the need to kind of uh, work out the logistics in terms of communications, in terms of meetings, in terms of who's supposed to be where, and doing these things across different time zones for many of you. And uh, you're doing it successfully, so I don't see blockages and things like that, but I also feel as well, um, this is the month where, you know, um, if you've worked really hard, you know, your whole life or even the rest of this year, I feel like this trip is going to be a wonderful um, decompression type of a stage. OK, and this is uh, during this trip, I feel like you're going to be a little bit more lenient and lax with your spending and you want to use it to to buy your peace of mind. You wanted to use it to, you know, 
um, to make you just um, to be able to buy things and to have things that you've always wanted. I feel like you're not going to be skimping on money. You're not going to be stingy with the spending. So I feel like you just want to have a good time. You want everyone to be happy. You want everyone to be taken care of. So there's a lot of generosity, uh, generosity, buying things for family members, giving things, um, toys, money, whatever the situation is. But I don't feel like this is, you know, because of the Christmas time frame, I feel like it is an energy that extends into you know January February and so it's going to continue to extend okay I see heavy interaction um, here between you and an air sign so air sign Aquarius Gemini and Libra and um, when it comes to this air sign I'm I'm feeling as if you don't want to tell them all the details. It's like they're asking you a lot of questions. What are you going to do? What are you going to, where are you going to be? And, and things like that. So it seems to me like they want to work out some logistics with you. And um, I feel that for some of you, you might be a little bit hesitant about giving them all the details. You might be hesitant about, you know, dis fully disclosing what you're up to, what you're doing and who you're with. So I feel like there's like a distance you you might be trying to distance yourself or you might be trying to you know figure out like how do i just give them information on a needs to know basis rather than get telling them everything and um, i'm also feeling as well when it comes to your overall financial situation there's some they they say like disclosure so i'm seeing some of you with the actual you know disclosure statement how much you're making, how much you're um, paying, how much is going is allotted towards certain things. So some of you might be doing that as a part of your, you know, routine work where you're disclosing to other people how much money is coming in, how much money is coming out, how much money is being retained. For others, I feel like somebody is asking you this information, like an accountant, even a lawyer, um, a, 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 a human resources personnel from like a job. And then for others, possibly even like a client that you're working with, or even you're asking other people these questions. You might be in a, cons uh, a consultant, like a financial consultant, and you're asking these things. So I see like they say disclosure, and then there's that money sign, that dollar sign on paper in front of you. And you're interacting with a lot of people and trying to get things squared away. So if that's... Um, if that's something that you need to take care of, you know, wait until after the Mercury retrograde cycle, which is going to be um, after the 23rd of December to get those papers squared away. OK, because during the Mercury retrograde period, we're not operating at our best. People are not going to be um, they're They're not going to be as careful. OK, so that's when Mercury, the planet that facilitates communication, the um, the planet that facilitates contracts and getting things, you know, all squared away, dotting your I's, crossing your T's, that planet just kind of disappears. It, it, it retreats from us. And so we're going to have to push extra hard in order to get these things squared away. So if you can wait until after the 23rd, even after Christmas, the 25th, it might be a lot better for you guys. Okay. So um, if you are worried about these financial disclosure in terms of taxes, in terms of employment, in terms of, you know, speaking to a lawyer, speaking to a judge about anything related to financial disclosure, I don't feel that any worries right now is going to um, manifest in, you know, worst case scenarios. I feel like if you're worried about it and you're just like, I wish I could do something about it. There's really nothing you can do, so wait for the fog to lift after that cycle, that, that retrograde cycle. Um, you also have another, um, it's a new moon uh, in your sign on the 18th as well, so wait for that to culminate, and I feel like the energy is going to be alleviated, okay? And so moving forward into 2018, the message that I really want to leave you guys with is that financially things will be okay. Things will be on the upswing for you guys. I see opportunities for creative projects. I also feel opportunities as well for you to somehow 
um, access your creativity and bring something forth into the world. New projects that you're doing, new creative endeavors, new publishing opportunities, new opportunities for you to take the stage and do like speaking engagement as well in front of people that might be uh, foreign to you. So you have some really good things coming into the year for 2018. Don't fret, don't fret over it, okay? Financially, things will be on the upswing for you guys. So the message here is, you know, the major theme for this year, I feel, has been so far finances for many of you. And so it's kind of like, let's extract the lesson that we've learned and we've learned one of the first thing here is you know safe for a rainy day right you haven't been very good about that so moving into 2018 let that be a lesson learned so that we can prepare ourselves adequately set aside some money for like a rainy day in 2018. the second lesson that i am feeling here is the need to get off our behinds just just to get up and get things moving so no more procrastination for 2018, okay? 2018 is hit the ground running type of a year. You're going to really enjoy it because you're not going to feel the weight of Saturn on your chest anymore. So it's going to feel really good. Opportunities for speaking engagement, for travel, for leisure, for fun, for income generating activities will be coming in. So that second lesson here is, you know, live your life in a more deliberate way don't wait for things to come go out and get them okay the third lesson that i'm feeling here is needing to clean up your space needing to keep your space very very tidy very um clean dust free clutter free and i feel like some of you you really need to get into your house um kitchen in particular um, sinks bathrooms and i also feel like the basement or the attic if you have storage i'm feeling some of you needing to go in there with like a hazmat suit because the area is like so dusty and you know over time if there's a lot of humidity and there's dust it becomes moldy so i feel like some of you really needing to get in there and scrub things clean throw away things donate things scrub things and take care of your living situation make it as you know minimalist as you can okay because i feel like um you're going to be glad that you did because the month of 2018 doesn't really leave room for you to i i want to say it's such a uh, a fast-paced dynamic type of a year you might not have time to do these things so you know make that your priority and try to you know do like some massive pre-holiday pre-christmas pre-new year cleaning so that you can have a clean environment to invite people in and i feel some of you um this past 2017 there was a lot of paperwork just like piled on top of each other and you're like, I'm gonna look at it, I'll go back and look at it, I'll, you know, sort through it, I'll get to it, but you don't you haven't really found the time to get to it, or you're not in the same, you know, the that that state of mind to get to it. And a lot of those paperwork are now outdated. You know, they they uh, have already expired, so you can easily throw them out. So taking the time to take care of these things, okay? So that first thing, clean your house. The second thing here is save up for a rainy day. You need to learn to save up for a rainy day so you're not, you know, at the end of the line trying to catch up and you're frazzled and stressed out, okay? And I guess the third thing here is no procrastination, okay? So all of those elements are coming together and it's kind of like this ball of uh, wax. It's like these are lessons you're going to carry with you into the new year and you're going to be so much happier for it, okay? So I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful, wonderful birthday time and uh, enjoy the holidays, okay? I will see you soon. Bye-bye.